Hey guys, Jay from Ecotech Marine here. I'm going to show you in this quick video how to add a Vortec MP40 to Mobius. So Mobius is Ecotech's free control platform app. It's available from your app store and it will provide additional functionality when it comes to using your Ecotech equipment, allowing you to create programs and use your smart device to access and adjust your equipment. You will need to create an account that requires a valid email address and creating a password. Once you've done that, you'll be able to log in. Logging with your credentials will then present you with the opportunity to create a tank, or you can use a tank that you've already created if you are using Mobius already. So once you add a tank name, you can click on next and then all of the equipment which is currently running Mobius firmware will show up. Now in the case of quiet drive devices that includes all Vortec pumps and Vetra pumps, if they were manufactured after June 1st, 2020, they will have come straight from Ecotec with Mobius firmware installed, at which point if you want to use them with a ReefLink or EcoSmart Live, you will need to downgrade them in order to do that or also identify them so you can see which pump particularly you are working with. Long press, you can see there are the options to identify, update, or downgrade that particular pump. Okay, so once you have found your piece of equipment that you want to use, just click on it. You can obviously do multiples at the same time. For our purposes, we're just going to select this one, click Next, and now the app is going to add this particular device to your tank. First, it's going to connect to it, then it's going to create a network, and then it is going to provide you with access. So with setup complete, you'll have the option to add a passcode. This prevents other people with the Mobius app from accessing your equipment and your tank. After that, it's going to lead you into the wizard to set up your Vortex. So pretty much all Ecotech equipment has wizards, tooltips. Once you first set it up, the Vortex is no exception. So here you go. There's default, low, medium, and high. It gives you the flow rates. It's usually a good idea to start low and then work up from there. So if you click on next, you then are provided with templates. If you've seen Radeon set up, it's the same templates, but some of these templates also provide for flow. So if we click on AB+, you can see it provides a description there. It's very simple. It's just reef crest through the entire day period. However, it is a quick way to get up and running. So if we click on activate, there you have it. It is now loaded and in your tank. You will see here at the dashboard for your account, you also have two preset scenes, one of which is live demo. This lets you experiment with all of the different settings that the Vortec has in real time. There's also feed mode, which will put the pump into a slow, low setting for feeding. If you wanna go in and now change your program or adjust it, click on that little flow icon at the bottom. You can see it has your pump or pumps listed. It also has a circular graphical representation of your program. The red marker indicates where you are during the day. If you then tap on edit, you can see your specific program. So there it is on the left, 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. So a 24 hour period. And then you can add other time modes or other periods on there simply by dragging them left. You can then adjust the settings for that particular mode and the start and stop time. All right, once you are done with that, click on done at the top right. You can then click on save. And there you can see when we go back to our circulation overview, it shows you what that looks like. Down at the bottom, you have templates that lets you run back through the template wizard. And then there is also a resume schedule button so that if you are manipulating your pumps, either with the buttons or through live demo, you can resume your schedule with that button. So that's it. That's adding a Vortec and then programming it. Very simple, very quick, and you'll be up and running in no time.